It is a big day in Greensboro and we are helping our neighbors in need. That's right. WFNY News 2 and Greensboro Urban Ministry are teaming up for an emergency food drive and Tanya Rivera is there. What's happening? All right, so people are coming to drop stuff off, which is great. We know that the triad is generous, and we are so very thankful for that. If you're at home and you're thinking to yourself, I wish I could get down there and I wish I could help. I just can't get down there. Hey, you know what? We're not going to leave you out. We're going to make it easy for you. Right there at the bottom of the screen is that QR code. You just hover your phone over that. You open up your camera. You put it on the QR code, and it's going to take you right to the donation site. I want to show you what the pantry looked like this week when we went to get video video of it. Uh, you know, Greensboro Urban Ministry kind of sounded the warning and said we are in some dire need and you do see some food on the shelves and in the freezers, but I got to tell you, it's nothing like what you normally see there. In fact, Tyra Clymer from Greensboro Urban Ministry is joining me now. So normally, what would we see in the pantry? Like how many pounds of food? Typically, this time of the year, we would have about 175,000 pounds of food, but now we're down to 20,000. We're seeing so many new families. We're seeing more children come in with their families for food. And so right now, we really need a lot of help. Okay, so that's a deficit of 150,000 pounds of food. Yes. People have been very generous here. Um, for those folks that say, okay, you know, once you have a food drive, you're going to be good for a little while, you say? Continue to bring it in. We're located on Gate City Boulevard. We need a lot of help. You can make donations online. You can contact us at the Greensboro Urban Ministry. But just please keep helping us. Yeah, because that food, I mean, it doesn't stay, right? Does you have to stay. give it out to the family. So families get to come once a week and shop for what they need. If there are families at home that are like, I'm, I'm, ha I'm, get, I'm feeling the squeeze, I need some help. What's gonna happen when they come see you? All they have to do is present their ID. It's a very easy process. We don't ask any questions. Just come in, say I need food and you got it. All right, and so the only stipulation is that you need a photo ID and you need to live in Guilford County. Yes. And then you can leave with a bag of food that will provide you healthy meals. Absolutely, and we give food based on the number of people in your household. Um, if it's your first time coming, you may have to fill out a little paperwork, but otherwise it's a very easy process. All right, so we wanna make sure that you know how to give the help and how to get the help. And right there, that QR code is your donation to give the help.